Look, in, in, in tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. But it was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. <laughs> Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that that same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. What? Oh, hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half. Vibram Soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye-bye. Oh. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Oh, you poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting, frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. Ooh. So why are you helping me anyway? Bees have good qualities. See, si, certo. And it feels good to take my mind off the shop. I don't know why, but instead of flowers, people are given balloon bouquets now. Yeah, those are great. If you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic! Yeah, me too. The bent stingers, the pointless pollination. Oh, bees must hate those fake plastic things. There's nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Well, maybe this could make up for it a little bit. You know, Barry, this lawsuit's a pretty big deal. I guess. Are you sure that you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home, without paying a royalty. 